The Oceanography Division of the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory is one of 18 research divisions of the Naval Research Laboratory. At the Oceanography Division, we are approximately 60 oceanographers in one location. These are people who have expertise in physical oceanography, remote sensing, and numerical modeling. Our goal is to go from basic research concepts all the way to providing real-time forecasting of the ocean. The Oceanography Division does a lot of field work. We do a lot of field experiments. This global map actually shows you in black or red boxes regions where we have done field work, I would say, over the past decade. So as you can see, we've done research in various places around the United States, the East Coast, the Gulf of Mexico, and the West Coast, the Alaskan coast. But we've also done work off of South Africa, off of Australia, in the Mediterranean, and in the uh, Indian Ocean. So we do the basic research and development, understanding the ocean physics, trying to build numerical models that represent that. We implement those numerical models on the supercomputers. We connect to and process a lot of the satellite data. We bring all that together and enable the operational group to make daily predictions of what the ocean currents, the ocean temperature, ocean salinity is going to be. They provide that to all the people who are on ships on the surface of the ocean, under the ocean. Uh, and that's our long-term objective is to make sure that they're safe and can work efficiently. So I'm a member of the Ocean Hydro Optics Sensors and Systems section and the goal of our section is to study the impact of turbulence on underwater optical systems. So that is uh, important for diver visibility and also laser communications for instance. And uh, at the same time we develop next generation systems and sensors to probe turbulence in the ocean. Ocean turbulence is a very rapid, very irregular and very variable motion which is responsible for the distribution of momentum, heat, uh, particles and pollution in the ocean. So in this tank we generate uh, convective turbulence, uh, it's also known as uh, rayleigh benard turbulence. So we heat from the bottom, we cool from the top, you have strong overturning uh, due to temperature variations happening in the tank and they have a strong effect on the optics and we use it to uh, both understand the processes underlying this optical turbulence and how to mitigate this. Uh, as well as to test next generation sensors and systems. We hope that uh, this data will help to improve uh, parameterization of mixing in numerical models. That may lead, uh, we hope, to the better forecast of the ocean circulation uh, which uh, the models usually deliver. The research that we're doing here should lead to improved forecasts for the Navy and forecasts of both the temperature and salinity but also of the current structure uh, across the global ocean. The, that's important for such reasons as uh, search and rescue type operations um, or for optimal track ship routing, for example, using the, using the currents to aid your transportation across the, the ocean as opposed to being against you. I think one of the really exciting things about the work that's being done here is that we run the full gamut of being able to study basic concepts of oceanography which is really interesting, but then we take those basic concepts and actually adapt and develop them into something that has real world impact. As I said before, like a prediction of ocean currents in the ocean or a prediction of waves in the ocean or a prediction of where sea ice might be. The impact of water clarity is, is really best understood as a truly fundamental process to our planetary system we've come to find out that this process and what we're really looking at is the penetration of solar energy into the surface ocean is really fundamental to so many other things. For example, the penetration of visible light into the surface ocean can impact the heating rate of ocean waters, particularly on a nice clear sunny day. And that's going to impact temperature and the ocean temperature then impacts density and you can see how this chain begins to form. You impact density, you impact the currents, you can impact the way the ocean is responding to the atmosphere. So we're starting now to unravel all of these mechanistic interconnections from one process to the next. It's actually quite fascinating. We're very fortunate to be able to look at that now. One of the things that I've been working on 
uh, quite a bit in the last five, six, seven years is uh, wave modeling in the Arctic. And of course, once you get to high latitudes, you have to deal with the problem of ice. And that's actually one of the most fascinating uh, aspects uh, of this is that um, it involves different physics than we have in other parts of the world. So we have to consider the effects that the waves have on the ice and also the effects that the ice has on the waves. What uh, wave modeling means for us is modeling of the waves that are on the surface of the ocean that are generated by the wind. So that separate, saying it's generated by the wind separates it from, uh, say, tide waves. And uh, we do this using a number of different methods, but uh, one that's most efficient for us is the so-called phase average wave modeling, which is modeling in terms of wave spectra. I, I think the, the problems that you said that we're trying to solve are big. They, they involve a lot of people. And so it takes a lot of people and, and a lot of different disciplines to work together. And it takes a long time. So it's not one project and we're done. Every project kind of links together towards a longer term end, which makes it always fun. There's always something bigger and better to do. And I think one of the really hard problems is finding people who can help fill that area of technology that can help contribute to it. And so we're always, uh, we're always searching for people who are excited and want to come help. I think the future for this division is very, very positive and very, very exciting. We do oceanography and we work for the Navy. The Navy operates in the ocean. The Navy is, has been, and always will be interested in the ocean environment and how it can make the best use of knowledge of what the ocean environment looks like. So I feel that the future of our division is really, really exciting. and. Um, and very positive and it's going to be a great future.